Hello friends, in this tutorial, I will teach you how to import all kinds of files such as videos, photos, sounds, and Photoshop and Illustrator files into After Effects. If you are interested in learning After Effects software, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see the next tutorials. As we said in the previous lesson, first we have to make a composition. Then I create a new composition from the composition menu. I import ready preset with dimensions of 1920x1080 and frame rate of 29.97, and there is no need to change the settings. I press the OK button. Now we can import different files. Importing files is done in different ways. We can click on the import option from the file menu and then on the file option. This window allows us to select one or more files. After selecting the files, we click on the import option. In this way, the files are placed on the project panel. Another way to import is to right click on the project window and then select the file option. Or by double clicking on the project panel, we can import the files again. And finally, we can drag and drop files into After Effects. By right clicking on the project window and selecting the multiple file option, the file selection window will open again by adding each file, and finally, the multiple window will be closed by pressing the Done button. By pressing the Control button plus Z, I go back to the previous step so that the files I entered with multiple files are deleted. By clicking on each file, we can see the specifications of that file. By double clicking on each file, another window called Footage will be created next to the Composition window, which will show us the image of the selected file. I click on the Fit option to see the image bigger. By double clicking on other files, we can see that file. I close the footage panel by clicking on the multiplication sign. In After Effects software, it is possible to import Photoshop files together with all its layers. First, I select these files and press the delete button to delete the files. To import Photoshop files, I double click in the project window. I select the Photoshop file, in the import as section there are three options that we have to choose the type of importing Photoshop files. The footage option imports the Photoshop file similar to a photo, which makes it impossible for us to access the Photoshop layers. The two options for composition and composition retain layer size enters the Photoshop file with all its layers into the after effect. With the difference that the composition retain layer size option preserves the original size of the layers. So it is better to select the composition retain layer size option and press the import button. Now another window will open where we can select the file type again. Also, in the layer options section and selecting the enable layer styles option, they allow you to keep the Photoshop layer styles editable or merge them into layers by selecting the merge layer style into footage option. If we choose the footage option, again, we can merge all layers in Photoshop and create a single layer. By choosing the second option, Select and import only one layer among all Photoshop layers. Again, you can choose to merge the styles or skip adding the styles together with the layers. Finally, I select the Composition Retain Layer Size option and click on the OK button. In the project panel, a composition is created along with a folder where all Photoshop layers are located inside the folder. To import Photoshop layers into the Timeline panel, I double-click on Composition. Now all Photoshop layers are located in the timeline that we can hide each layer. We can also add different effects to each layer and animate each layer, which I will teach in future lessons. We can always create another composition. By double-clicking on the composition, a new page will be created in the Timeline panel, 
where other files can be placed. Now, by double clicking on the project panel, I insert two more photos and place them in the new composition in the timeline panel. You can see that the size of these photos is smaller than the size of our composition. As a result, always try to create a composition that fits the size of the files. Also, we can now adjust the size of the photo to the size of the composition. For this, I right click in the composition panel and select the fit to comp option in the transform section. In this way, the size of the photo will fit the size of the composition. Do not forget that the image of the upper layer is always displayed before the images of the lower layers. I drag this layer down to see the image of the other layer. I also fit the size of this layer. I will remove this composition from the timeline panel. I delete the files by selecting the files and pressing the delete button. Now, by double clicking on the project panel, I insert an illustrator layer. In the import as section, there are the same options that I explained earlier for Photoshop, and there is no need to explain them anymore. So I select the Composition Retain Layer Size option and import. In the project panel, a composition is created along with a folder containing the layers of the Illustrator file. We can see the created composition information in this section. I double click on the composition to create the layers in the Timeline panel. The layers are created in order, if I move the background layer to the top, we don't see the image of the other layers. By selecting each layer, by holding the left click on the corners of the image, it is possible to change the size of each layer. By holding the shift button, the image size changes proportionally. Again we can use the fit to comp option. I also import a video layer, turn off the background layer and add the video layer to the illustrator layers. Therefore, we can combine different files together. I press the play button. I will add two more photos. We can create one or several folders and put different photos and files inside the folder. Select the files and drag them onto the folder. Another way to create a folder is to right click on the project panel and select the new folder option. I choose a name for the folder. In this way, we can categorize different files so that the project is not too crowded. In the same way, we enter the audio files into After Effects and drag them into the timeline. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until the next tutorial. Goodbye for now.